Good afternoon, St. Londers. How are you? I hope that you are very, very well. I haven't, as you know, I didn't make some, I didn't make any videos for about roughly four months. And then I made a few last week. Today is uh, Tuesday, the 27th of October. And um, I find myself sitting here with these controls, these elaborate digital controls on the computer, bewildered all over again, as I was <laughs> when I first started using this stuff and as I was when I resumed using it last week. Anyway, I want to talk to you very briefly, and I hope that this is being recorded, and I hope that I can upload it, and that I haven't forgotten some or other basic principle from a week ago, and from some time before that. Excuse me. My software has updated, and it no longer gives the option to pause a recording. And if you stop the recording, as I would like to do now to blow my nose uh, then you lose everything well you get only that and then you have to make a new recording so I ask you to please excuse me perhaps I should have done that off camera um, <clears throat> I have uh, just come in from a long meeting and it's raining outside I've been outside with the chickens and I've got some other work to do um, Therefore, I haven't gone to the trouble of dressing up for this. Uh, so please excuse that too. I just want to get this out of the way because I've got a long list of video themes to do. And if I don't start doing them, you know, when the opportunity presents itself, I'm never going to work my way through them. So uh, this morning, I was in a meeting, a long meeting. And I went outside to smoke a cigarette. Uh, this was in Orania at Andi Uver, if it makes any difference. Um, and while I was smoking, a tree fell down, was blown over by the wind that has brought all of the rain that we've had today. This was at roughly... Whew, if I was to guess, something like 11 o'clock. <clears throat> Roughly. Anyway, I went back into the restaurant and I called the restaurant manager and I said to him, uh, while I was smoking outside, a tree was blown over and it crashed against the windows and outer wall of one of the chalets at the, at the Uber resort perhaps you should call the uber manager or whatever you know the guy above you not the restaurant manager anyway he said well let me go and have a look and so i showed him and we went back inside and as we walked we got onto the subject of load shedding and uh, he said to me yeah now with this uh, level four i said what level four he said to me it just it was announced a little while ago that from 12 o'clock level 4 load shedding would be introduced and what was relevant to him was that Orania would immediately go uh, you know uh, the, when the load shedding kicked in at 12 o'clock Orania would be one of the places to be shed from the system immediately Anyway, I went back in, we continued with our meeting, and lo and behold, the electricity went off while we sat there. And they had to turn on their little generator, and then it ran out of fuel, and then this, then that. And uh, it didn't affect us very much at all. But the point is this. I then went to see the, um, the the notifications when they were sent out to look at the the times of the notifications as best as possible now i can't say i found the time of the release of the definitive escom notification however it appears to have been 
at roughly 11 o'clock, very shortly before uh, my uh, chat with the uh, Andy Uver restaurant manager. And I can't help being struck by the short notice. Roughly an hour, hour and 10 minutes, hour and a quarter, hour and 20 minutes, who knows exactly. But roughly an hour's notice, at roughly one hour's notice, Let's say uh, the best sources I'm uh, finding are not very good ones. Let's say the, 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 the notice was initially issued by ESCOM. And I can't see how because I'm, I'm, I'm looking at sites and I'm, I'm communicating with people who are on the ESCOM apps and things. So they're getting immediate notice. But let's say it was two hours notice, which it wasn't. These guys, these guys have no idea what is about to happen next. As it comes to you as a surprise, so comes it to them as a surprise. Not 24 hours, 48 hours, 36 hours, 18 hours, two hours notice. Or more probably an hour and 10 minutes, an hour and a quarter's notice. An hour's notice. Unbelievable. Guys, so here's the real, real, real point. I think that it's time that we started, that we began to hold more honest, frank, blunt and truthful conversations. About a year and a half ago, Mr. Miller and I held a, a very serious conversation. And I said to him that the people are not ready for the truth. Many of our beloved uh, Safe Landers members, many of our beloved peers, the people of our cohort of, of, that have everything in common with us, may be in many ways, better people than we are. This is now me talking to Mr. Miller about 18 months ago. So I'm not saying that we are better people, but I am saying that we are better informed people. And I've learned the hard way that if we kept everybody as well informed as we are, many people simply wouldn't be able to cope with it. I have a close family member. In fact, I can tell uh, two anecdotes concerning close family members in which the one said to me that, it's terrible to say, but they said they would, they would do themselves harm if they had to confront the reality of the information that we trade in, so to speak, every day. The other person said that they find it so difficult that they would rather be an ostrich with their, with their head in the sand. But we're reaching a point now in which Really, we have to start telling it like it is. And when it comes to ESCOM notifying that it's going to move up two stages to the dreaded stage four, with in our case, on a Kloof's case, three by two and a half hour blackouts per day, at just two hours notice, then we must begin to talk to one another about real preparations, not preparate, real preparations. We must begin to say to one another, over time, this ESCOM thing has deteriorated in an erratic fashion. There've been good days and bad days. There've been good weeks and bad weeks, good months and bad months. But on average, it has declined and deteriorated. And when you combine 
the ESCOM affair matter, however you want to put it, with many other things going on in the country, you must at some point reach the conclusion that we could be in trouble pretty soon. Maybe not tomorrow, the next day, or the day after that. Maybe not next month. Maybe not the month after that. But we're now at the point where we can reasonably... The point at which we can reasonably speculate that we may begin to see a manifest crisis of state in 2022. We're not talking about Nach van die Langmesse. We're not talking about Johanna Brandse uh, Vulkanische Uitbarsten. But we are talking about something more than just 20 million people unemployed. Roughly 20 million. We're talking about more than just South Africa's income tax payer base reducing to about 1 million for, I beg your pardon, I beg your pardon, uh, to about 3 million for the first time since uh, the late 50s or early 60s. I forget now, I, I did a, a video about that, that thing. Uh, and I forget the dates. I, I want to say 1959, but I, I'm not dead certain. This is now a case of not just blackouts, but blackouts and the threat of enormous inflation. Blackouts and a crippled economy. Blackouts and the threat of uh, tremendous inflation. An enormous unemployment and a crippled economy and none of them getting any better we believe may lead to crises or a crisis of state in 2022 may we be wrong but we do a, a hang of a lot of research into this tremendous amounts And it is not baseless to suggest or baseless to claim or to assert that there are concrete reasons why we may now finally be at that point in which the state may not, in the very near future, may not be able to readily hold out against the pressures that the African National Congress has put upon it. Here endeth the chat for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, like, share, subscribe, and we'll talk again soon. Cheerio. Bye-bye.